folks. So, uh, 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 what the? Hang on. What's all this? What's all this going on here? Yeah, I'm actually testing out the wide angle lens that I've just got for this camera. I thought, like, shall I just do a little random little video and shove it online and let you guys vote on it? I could, but I need to get some content out, particularly top 10 lists. So I just figured, you know what, I'll do this top 10 in wide angle form and then you guys can give me your vote on whether you like this format. You know, did you prefer it the old way? Please don't say yes, because if that, mean, that means I'd have to reset everything up like that again. But do you like the way this looks? You know, seeing more of the collection behind me, you know, I'm working on lighting and I've got a fair amount of lights here, but they're all closer to me. So not only are they blinding me, but they're also melting my face. But on top of that, I've got the microphone literally there. It's like I can hump, I can literally just eat it. So the audio should hopefully be better. And the camera is literally there. I mean, I could fiddle around with it. I can see clearly myself in the screen. It hopefully this will work a lot better. So please, you know, if you got any tips, if you got any ideas, if you just want to give some feedback on how this looks, then by all means do, because if this works, then great, you know, because I think the picture is clearer because the last few were a bit out of focus. Anyway, on with the actual video. Yep. Black book again. It's been a long time since I've done a top 10 and I got four lists in the making. Today it's top 10 games that I think could benefit from a deluxe version. Now this is a bit more of a ton in cheek fun list really because it's not really going to be of much use to anyone and I certainly don't expect these publishers to go out there and go Hmm, yeah, Broken People said about uh, making this one a deluxe. Yeah, you know what? We'll get on that. Kickstarter coming in September. Is it? Nah, it's not going to happen but these are games where I've looked at them and I'm just thinking whether it's because of storage, artwork, component quality, a mixture of all, you know, th there's various reasons for a lot of these and I just want, I just think, hmm, I wonder what would happen if you did deluxify it. Now this list was a lot harder than I thought to make because unfortunately a lot of the games which I want to see a deluxe version are getting a deluxe version <laughs> conveniently in the last couple of months or more you know I, I was I've had this list in my mind for a while and then in that time we've got the suburbia collectors edition we've got the Cleopatra and the society of architects like new edition coming out and it's just like oh, for crying out loud guys will you stop making like good versions of the games that I would normally put on this list so I had to try and find another 10 and whew, it was harder than I thought but, you know, without further ado, let's get on with it. There's a Patreon choice at the end as well, and I'd be interested to hear your ideas for what sort of game you would like to see a deluxe version of. Now, of course, the main caveat is that it can't already have a deluxe version, and it can't already have a very blinged out reprint version. So, for example, um, I remember the Dice Tower did the list, and there's Z put, like, the Mission Red Planet on there. Well, Mission Red Planet... Uh, I wonder if I can see it. Yeah, you can actually see it. It's on the shelf in the darkness. But it, it that one's got a second edition. It already looks pretty good. So I don't, you know, I wouldn't want to see a deluxe version so soon after a second edition. But hopefully this will make sense. So without further ado, let's make a start. My number 10 is most people's favorite Yahtzee style dice roller, and that is King of Tokyo. King of Tokyo, I don't own myself, but you know, it's at every board game cafe I know of. Most people I know have got it. Why do I need a copy as well? And with King of Tokyo, I mean, you think, oh, it already looks pretty nice. You know, you've got the little models everywhere, and you've got the big chunky dice that you can roll. But uh, at the end of the day, I mean, you could make those standees miniatures, you know, like really cool miniatures of Gigazor and Cyber Bunny and all that. Not so funny. No, kick him out of the deluxe version. We don't want him. But certainly, I'd like to see Mecha Dragon and then and, and Kong. You know, let them be miniatures. It'd be pretty awesome. Well, actually, no, the Panda, Panda Kai, and Captain Fish, or whatever his name is. I want to see those as miniatures. But on top of that, the monsters could each have their own set of dice. You know, and with a unique paw print on each one in different colors, so that everybody has their own chunky dice to roll. I mean, this would be a big box. So you know, these are pipe dreams. These aren't like realistic uh, ideas. But, you know, you could have it. Miniatures, paw print, you know, unique dice. You know, the board could be a bit bigger, a bit more about artwork there. The cards could be tarot size, that kind of thing. And, yeah, I could see that happening. So, my number 10, King of Tokyo. My number 9, again, I don't own this game either. And to be fair, I don't necessarily like it that much. I mean, I like it okay, but I have to play it with three players or less and with one of its small box expansions in order to actually get much enjoyment out of the game. But considering everybody else has had to spend probably three or four times the value of the game to actually get it up to standard 
quality in terms of uh, components, you'd think that terraforming Mars would actually be suitable for a deluxe version. Because everybody has gone like, oh yeah, the, the game is fantastic, but the components are rubbish. <laughs> they just are. The board doesn't look very good. The, you know, the tiles, they're pretty basic. Those cubes are horrible. The weird sort of like golden brassy style cubes. And it, uh, it's just, it just, bleh. it doesn't look that great. So everybody has blinged out by getting the overlays for the trays, they've got 3D printed tiles, that kind of thing. Well, come on, can't we have a deluxe version that incorporates everything? So every expansion today, including the newest one that was on Kickstarter, I want to see a deluxe box of that with 3D tiles for all the different types of terrain, the uh, like mountain and river, um, oceans and stuff like that. I want to see like uh, better artwork on the cards, uh, actual artwork, not still pictures, thank you very much. Bigger sized cards, you know, don't have to be quite tarot size, that's probably a bit too unwieldy, but you know, certainly bigger than what's already in there. Uh, the board artwork could be a lot better because it does look pretty dull. And obviously you'd already have the expansion, so you want a nice storage box for that sort of thing, so you can separate them out and integrate them as necessary. It, I mean, come on, there's gotta be a lot of you out there that are thinking, God, yeah, this game could do better with components. Deluxe Terraforming Mars. Even I would be interested to get in on that. So, Terraforming Mars, number nine. Don't let it be said that I don't speak out on some games that I'm not a huge fan of. My number eight, I can finally get off a shelf, although, it's a bit too far for me to reach even over there. So, Snow Tales. With Snow Tales, you've got a map made out of different tiles. And with that, you're, you're having a race, you're riding husky dog sleds, and you know, you've got these tiny little wooden pieces that go on the track, and a few little miniature tree wooden pieces, and that's about it. It's mainly in the, the, the kind of, the, the tiles themselves. And they're decent enough. I mean, they show, they're just basically like basic cardboard tiles, and they make a track. Could we not have a 3D track? Could we not have like proper hills and proper like bulky terrain? I mean, yes, this would cost an arm and a leg, I suspect, and it would be hard to make all that plastic, but you know, we've done it for other games. Can we not do it for this one? It'd be pretty sweet, you know, just to have a more, like a more three-dimensional track with, you know, miniatures for various things like the trees and that. Your the sled could be a little miniature as well, not just a little wooden piece. I, I could see this working quite nicely. Yes, it's gonna be big. You're probably gonna need a big table to do it, possibly even multiple tables, but it's deluxe. Make everything bigger. That's the whole point of, you know, deluxe, to make it bigger and better. So yes, it would probably be maybe a version that you would have at conventions more often than not, but, you know, I could see this working out, because at the moment, it's all well and good saying, you know, I've got a half-decent quality game already, but you know, do you want this or do you want 3D tiles? I could see myself going for a nice 3D version of Snow Tails. And if you make some miniatures of Husky Dogs, I would just be falling in love with those Husky Dog miniatures because Husky Dogs are so cute. But yeah, number eight, Snow Tails. My number seven, I'm going to admit, is fairly good quality already as it is. I mean, it's it looks beautiful. It's most it's all cardboard, but it looks beautiful and it's cheap for what it is, you know. The storage is rubbish, so yeah, it will certainly benefit from a deluxe storage version. But could you imagine if you took every standee piece in photosynthesis and made it a deluxe version? Oh my god. <laughs> You know, because the standees in this look good, okay? It's not like Photosynthesis was ever, like, a bad quality game. But, you know, the storage insert in this is horrible. It's, like, literally a folded piece of cardboard that doesn't keep the trees in one place in that. So, certainly, I want a proper insert with a bigger box than this. But, wow. I mean, if the trees were miniature, like, proper 3D trees, model trees, not just cardboard standees, with paint jobs, you know, they've got to be painted, obviously, but good paint jobs, so they all look like they're a unique type of tree, birch tree, pine tree, acorn tree, whatever, oak tree, and, oh my god, I mean, yes, it will cost about, probably about the same as Small World Deluxe, you know, like, God knows, all for the low, low price of hundreds of pounds, but would you not want to see that on a table? 3D printed trees, coloured, painted, uh, with a proper sun model that goes around the table and not just that weird, uh, you know, cardboard fold thing. <laughs> I mean, this is already a good deluxe, uh, not deluxe, a good looking game as it is. But yes, I could see this being blinged out and I would love to see that. So number seven, Photosynthesis Deluxe. My number six, you can sort of get the motif that I'm going for things like 3D 
miniatures and 3D printed tiles, oh, sorry, 3D tiles, 3D models, that kind of thing, because that's kind of how you make a game deluxe. And city building games don't generally get a lot of buzz with, you know, looking really good on the table, unless they're tiles. Quadropolis, though, and I suppose you could factor in any other, like, I mean, you could possibly put Suburbia on this as well, but I'm thinking more Quadropolis, because in this one, you're building your own grid of, you know, a city, a 5x5 five five grid, I believe it is, or is it 4x4, four four, I forget. But you're just building it and you're just collecting tiles off this central board and then you're putting them on your own board in order to you know, gain victory points by various means, either by you know, residential towers, by factories, by ports, that kind of thing. And the tiles are nice. The artwork is colourful. It's nothing spectacular, but it's colourful, clean artwork. Would you not like to see 3D buildings? You know, actually have your city look like a proper city. You know, they could, uh, they could have little roads coming off the model so that they're on a square base or something. So the roads come off and connect up with other things so it looks like a proper functioning city when it's all done on your board. You know, you could have the central construction site with all these, you know, 3D models put up and you could use placeholders. So you could have a tile or a, p a token that goes on each space to say what needs to go on it and then you could deck it out with all the different 3D models and it would just be a thing of beauty. And then you use the architects, which again could be a proper figurine architect of different colors and different, you know, ethnicities, uh, different nationalities, different genders even. And you could put those around that construction yard, take the 3D model off and stick it on your board. And by the end of the day, you have one glorious looking city. If you tried to do it with Suburbia, I think it would be a bit too expensive. Although, again, you could probably find some way around it. You know, I mean, let's face it. But then I've got the collector's edition of Suburbia coming later this year or is it more next year i don't know i forget when it's got i'm in so many kickstars at the moment I've, unfortunately when i thought i was gonna like zone off kickstarter for a while i then ended up catching the bug again so i have got quite a few coming next year and this year even but uh, yeah i mean i could see this you know days of wonder makes a decent looking game as it is but deluxe quadropolis proper deluxe city in your front pocket oh yeah i love that one so number six quadropolis My number five is one that does suffer from a bit of component quality issue, but also storage. It blatantly needs a bigger box with the expansion it's got. It's got a ton of content, but in a wizarding uh, type setting, you could really blame out Argent the Consortium as a deluxe version. Argent the Consortium has you trying to become the next dean of a magic university. Think Harry Potter meets anime. And you know, the only way you do this is by collecting mana and gold and spells and uh, followers in order to influence the dean, not the deans, the, uh, the council who are basically trying to vote on who the next dean will be and they all have their different criteria, they're hidden at the start of the game, you have to find out what they're after. But component wise, for a level 99 game, this suffers a bit. I mean, the money in this, which I think is just plastic, uh, chips or plastic chips is garbage and there's not enough of it it looks horrible i've had to bling it out with metal coins in this one you know i mean i hate the money in the base set of this but even then i mean the miniatures themselves are not great quality the, a lot of it is uh, smallest cards that could be blinged out a lot of it is tokens the the manner i think you get is a weird looking blue gem. i mean just generally component wise it's very subpar with argon the consortium but could you imagine if this was blinged out in a much bigger box than this that held everything including the expansion which i have in this as well but you had like bigger cards for everything you know uh, kept the anime style artwork which is a bigger card so you can get more information on them have you know really blinged out uh, mana crystals you know different like pieces there really decent miniatures for all your, your mages or different mages the different discipline school mages uh, forget little cardboard tokens i want to see like proper big tiles um the rooms graphic design could be improved so a deluxe version could make those like room tiles even bigger so it's really clear to see what's going on they could have like the rule text on them well, actually, maybe that would make them too busy. But, you know, you get what I mean. You could make everything just bigger and better, and so you wouldn't need a box this small. But, my God, yes, you'd be able to bring it out with some metal money, you know, or at least a better money than the garbage lot in this one to begin with. And the spells. I mean, the spells come on, I think, tarot-sized cards anyway, and they are pretty cool. But imagine if a bit like in uh, Dracarion. In Dracarion, you have, like, a little book with all the stuff in it, and then you can flick through and go, oh, yeah, I fancy that trick. Imagine if you could have, like, a little spell book and you know it could have all the spells in it and then you just highlight which ones that you've got there or you could have a sleeved 
book. A bit like a uh, mage, uh, is it not mage knight? Uh, mage wards, you know, where they have their spell book that you just look through and that. Imagine if you have one of them, and every time you got a new spell, you you put a card in a sleeve, and it acted like your personal spell book. And then every time you researched a new level, you simply sleeve something else in there, or you just, uh, you know, replaced it with a different card. I don't know, like a advanced level three version. It could have artwork on the spell. Oh, yeah, I mean, you it would cost an arm and a leg, like all these deluxe ideas, but could you imagine? It would just work so nicely. I want to see that happen. Certainly, I feel like it could just do with a bigger box and a proper storage solution, because this is one of those games that doesn't even have an insert for it, I don't think. At least I'm not aware that it has an insert for it, but it could really do with one. Still love the game, though. It is a heavy Euro. It is a thematically rich Euro. It is a mean Euro but it's also a fairly convoluted Euro as well. So, you know, Deluxe could also streamline a few of the rules maybe and just make things a little bit easier to read, a, a revised better rulebook, for example, because the rulebook's subpar in it as well. There's, there's a lot of like component stuff at subpar in here and a Deluxe version would just solve that problem outright, leaving us with a fantastic looking and a fantastic Euro game. Number four, we have seen, I'm not sure if we've seen official deluxe versions of these, but people have done their own 3D tiles, a bit like with Terraforming Mars and stuff like that. And we get variants of this game since 1995 when it was first released, but I could see myself sitting down with a really, really blinged out version of Catan. Yeah, why not? Why not Catan? You know, Catan is still a fun game. I am one of these people that doesn't think it's cool to suddenly hate on Catan. No, I still enjoy Catan every now and again, with seafarers in particular. But, you know, you are just using wooden tiles and you build the map and you've got that flimsy cardboard outer ring and that. No, no, no. I want a proper 3D mold for that frame. I want to see 3D printed tiles for the different terrain. I want to see like mountains like, like towering above the hills, which then tower above like the, the plains. I want to see like little like like 3D tiles where they got little sheep on them or bits of corn or a stone mine on, on some of the mountains. You know, I want to see these tiles tricked out. Like really tricked out. And you could do it. Now, I don't know if there's ever been an official one that's already done that. I'm aware that people have already tripped out their own versions of Gatan, but I want an official one. And the deluxe set could include, but it doesn't have to have its own rules. Just incorporate these. Have a deluxe set that includes Gatan, Seafarers, Cities and Knights, Traders and Barbarians, and maybe Explorers and Pirates, although maybe you could leave that one out, you know, because it's like fundamentally different. But yeah, I mean, just a big deluxe set that incorporates lots of these expansions, 3D tiles, uh, a figurine for the robber, you know, bigger size cards for the... Well, yeah, no, I mean, the cards could be the same as they are because they're decent enough, just improve maybe the artwork, you know, include more of the special effect cards, that kind of thing, more of the, um, what do they call it, uh, discovery cards, is it? I don't know, the ones with the knights in them. And yeah, I could see that going down well. Now, of course, you may have to limit how many expansions go in just for size. And certainly, I don't want to see you no know, weird variant rules shoved in. Obviously, you'd need uh, deluxe ships, you know, deluxe roads, uh, deluxe settlement buildings, so they could be like proper looking buildings. It would cost an arm and a leg, and it would be for the devoted Catan enthusiast, but uh, I'd buy it. Well, actually, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe if I sell a kidney, I'd be able to buy it. But certainly, I'd be up for it. And hopefully so much of you. So, Catan, number four, Catan Deluxe. My number three, and yeah, the reason I'm sitting like this is because I need to get up and actually fetch the thing. But yes, this one has had many expansions for a fair while, and it's been one of my favourite games since the dawn of my channel, even. The dawn of my blog, let alone a YouTube channel. And I've got it in a nice storage box there. But you could bling out... Ooh, here we go. Hang on. This is getting problematic. No, we're good. <sighs> You could bling out Flashpoint Fire Rescue in deluxe form if you tried. You really could. And this is already like in a nice storage box, but uh, you know, the components inside could certainly use a bit of a deluxe upgrade. And that's not to say that anything that looked particularly bad, but think about it. You've got multiple expansions, multiple maps, a big storage solution like this to hold it all in. But the tokens, they're kind of, whoa, God, that was close. <laughs> Be careful with that. But they're kind of, 
standard tokens if you look at them really so i mean i'd like to see proper like little 3d fire pieces i want to see like you know these tokens really done up some decent artwork you know destruction black cubes can we not like put rubble mini like 3d rubble pieces or something like that and then of course like the maps themselves you know the, there's nothing exactly wrong with these uh whoop, these maps but certainly I feel that, you know, the artwork on them is fairly basic in a sense. You know, it's nothing particularly fancy. So you could really do a lot with these. And remember, some of the maps allow you to go up multiple floors. So maybe it could be a 3D, like, bit like the Queen's Gambit from ages ago. So you have multiple floors. You'd put, like, some pillars out. And uh, you'd have a board at the bottom, put four pillars out, put another board there. Four more pillars, put another board there. And you could have the fire pieces all over the place. So it'd be like one of those city building things you had as a kid that you made out of uh, uh oh, i forget like the plastic stuff you know where you built this massive sprawling building and had put little things inside it you could do that with flash boy Re fire rescue so yeah you'd have to make it pretty spacious so that you could put your hand in and grab it so it's not like colt express where you need like tweezers in order to grab everything but oh yeah i mean you, you know the bottom floor could be on fire and then you'd have a staircase you could put your guy on the staircase as it goes up now it's on the next floor and then it's battling fire there the fire truck could be a 3d tr a proper vehicle outside you know just to bling it out oh yeah i mean you could do a lot with flashpoint fire rescue i think it would just take quite a bit of an investment to do and certainly a lot of design time to go with that whole like state like stable building setup but come on they managed to do it with queen's gambit how many years ago that was a big, like, plastic lust type game. But they achieved it a long time ago. So with technology today, I think you could do it with Fastpoint Fire Rescue as well. I'd love to see that. I'd buy it in an instant, whatever it cost. Number three, Flashpoint Fire Rescue Deluxe. My number two, I have to literally hold with one hand because... It all doesn't fit in the box very well. The lid is miles off it. This needs not only a bigger box, a bigger storage solution, but it could really up the terrain pieces, put some 3D stuff out there, up the figurines, you know. It could do a lot for a great game, Sid Meier's Civilization. This is probably my favorite of like a lot of the Civilization games out there, and I've got both expansions. It's a great long, heavy Euro, but I really love it to bits. But it certainly is... um hard to store I mean like uh, it's not exactly flush shall we say it's a bit of a nightmare to get on the shelf but that's because everything's like yeah I mean there's a lot of content in this game you've got all the tiles which I mean the artwork's nice and all but I mean could you you could make the artwork even better on these you know make it look a bit more realistic in a sense you've got you've got a few decent stuff in here but again there's you've got uh, I don't want to get them out because I don't know how I'm going to repackage this but Coins, you know, cardboard coins now, or metal coins. Uh, here, you've got, like, the boards with the dials on them. They're all well and good, but, you know, they're made out of cardboard. I mean, I can bend these. I want to have, like, proper solid tile with these things on. And, oh, God, it's, like, it's a nightmare trying to get it back all in. You know, you've got cardboard tokens and things. Again, I want to see something a bit more interesting. With your player pieces, you know, you've got tiny little... Like plastic models are quite flimsy and a few little tokens again I want to see that tripped out with something a bit more 3d-esque but as I mean it's not to say it looks bad I mean it's fantasy flight it's a pretty decent looking game as it is but I still think that you could probably really bling this one out if you tried not to mention it could just really use a decent storage system I mean like I said I can barely keep this thing on I have to hug it in order to actually keep it on at this point but imagine if it just had its own crate that held both expansions really easily with quick setup, like game trays, you know, if they got involved. And I would love to see it. I feel like it's needed. It's been out to print for a fair while, I believe, this game. I'm never getting rid of it because I, I like it. I, I don't get to play it very often, but I do have a few mates who are fans of this as well. So we play it every now and again. But again, it's probably been a while. But I would just love to see it just tricked out a bit with a big decent wooden storage box with some insert trays to make setup a lot quicker and easier it really could benefit from a game tray style like bling out so Sid Meier's Civilization my favorite of anything that's got the word civilization written on the title and certainly better than the uh, sort of Avalon Hill and ridiculously long ones and infinitely better than that garbage mega civilization oh yeah hope my friends watching on that one <laughs>
and my number one could literally be deluxified by just having somebody reprint the stupid thing. <laughs> so it's been out of print for a fair while. I got a copy in a recent print and buy and I played it and I thought, oh yeah, this is actually quite a good game. I'm going to hang on to it. But oh my god, does it look ugly. It is one of the ugliest games I've ever seen. But oh, and the tiles, the paper mats, the horrible plastic chips. I mean, oh, it's horrible. Hate it, hate it, hate it. I've, I've even put like Dice Tower money cards, you know, the promos they were selling before. I put them in the box because anything is better than the garbage components you get in Vegas Showdown. And the camera is probably going to have a field day with the weird glossy effect. I mean, yeah, maybe I should put a health horn in up. Um, I'll, uh, I'll try and hold it reasonably still though, but... Yeah, Vegas Showdown, you're making a casino and you're putting tiles out to build the casino and the hotel. You want to make them like, like link them so that you can get from one end to the other. You're bidding on the tiles themselves, so there's money involved, uh, bidding, outbidding other players. But everything in this box is just cheap. Cheap, cheap, cheap. I mean, Hasbro printed this to begin with, and then I think uh, Wizards of the Coast picked up in 2012. It's long since been out of print, and nobody's reprinted it. I don't know why, maybe it's because somebody's still got the rights and they just can't get them off them, but this is a good game that needs a reprint. But if you're gonna reprint it, then deluxify it. I mean, I want metal coins with like inscription for like, like a Vegas dollar casino thing. I want the tiles to be really tripped out artwork. You know, it could even be 3D models, although maybe that's a little overkill, just the proper decent sized thickness tiles with decent artwork on them for the casino. Get rid of the paper mats. Oh God, paper mats have proper boards in front of you that you can use. Yeah, you know, the the roulette table could actually look like a proper roulette table, a 3D roulette table that you put the tiles on the miniatures, not just a board. There's so much in this game. I mean, even the bidding markers in this, they're like tiny little red translucent tiddlywinks. Come on, just come on. So you could literally d call this a deluxe by just reprinting the rotten thing, but you know, I, I like the game, it's still one I want to play, but my god, does it need a deluxe reprint so, so badly. I mean, when I came up with this list, it's like, hmm, top 10 games that need a deluxe version, right? Vegas Showdown and Finger Did Nine Others, because it was just literally a no-brainer. If you've not played this game, I suggest that if you see me at uh, Dice Portsmouth or anything like that, then if I've got the game, I'd be happy to show you it. But if you find it in the Brit and Buy sale, I would suggest picking it up because yes, it looks cheap, but you could bling it out yourself, but it's a solid bidding sort of tile building game. It's a nice one and certainly deserving of the number one spot here. So before I get on to uh, some honorable mentions, Patreon choice, there was a few that came back in, but there was a problem with a lot of them because some of them like Ethnos, I considered Ethnos. I mean, Ethnos is regaled as being, well, garbage looking. I mean, the artwork's certainly not up to speed and the, like, the board and the thing like that, it's just cheap. It looks nasty and ugly. But how do you deluxify a card game? You know, it's, it's, you're just going to make better artwork for the cards and board. That's about it. What else do you need? I mean, you don't really need figurines and stuff in Ethno. So I discounted that one. There were other ones like El Grande and Power Grid and things. And granted, they all look naff. But El Grande kind of had a big box version. And, you know, already had some bits like that. Power Grid tried to do a deluxe version and failed miserably because the deluxe version just looks pretty much as naff as the original one did. It's like, okay. And even then, you can't polish a... Uh, Never mind. But it's, it's uh, like I said, there was a few ideas that came in, but I couldn't really think of one specifically that was going to kind of take the list. Although, somebody did mention, like, train games in general. And I have to admit, when I thought train games, it was like, oh yeah, a lot of the train games, I mean, 18xx look horrible as all get out. But I don't care about those games, so I don't want to bling them out anyway. Why waste the money deluxifying those? So I tried to think, well, what train games could you deluxify? But we've already had Ticket to Ride Deluxe, and my God, yeah, it wasn't that a good one, the 10-year anniversary game. So I thought, what other train games are there? Well, Trains is just a card deck builder. That doesn't really work. Uh, Rolling Freight, uh, you could deluxify that a bit, but I don't know if I would want to see that as a deluxe. And then you've got, oh, what's that weird one? Um, It's the one that's kind of like Tesoro, but with a Euro train game. I'm trying to think what it's... Cool, uh, doesn't matter. You're gonna see a picture, but oh, whistle stop. Yes, whistle stop. Found out. Yeah, that one could be a deluxified a bit, but the one I'm thinking of 
is probably this one where I've had some good success with it of late, and that is Spike. You know, um, it's not the first one I think you need a deluxe version for, but with this, you've got the cards with very basic artwork on there. The board has got very basic artwork and lots of colored lines of various descriptions everywhere. So you could make that board a lot bigger to make it easier to see, particularly for those who are a bit hard of, you know, on sight and that. But also your train is this tiny little plastic miniature and you're trying to balance it on these little flimsy train tracks. And it's cool that they do it in this game, but yeah, you mean you could bling that out, put some, make the board bigger, so up the scale, so that you could have some proper like wooden pieces for the tracks, proper wooden train. I mean, it would almost be like playing with those, uh, what are they called, Biro? Was it Biro or something? I can't remember. The manufacturer used to make those uh, wooden train tracks and that. I used to have a ton of those in a big box with all the different trains and you'd build this huge sculpture of cityscape around your playroom and then you know get the trains and just have fun with it, build bridges, knock the bridges down. I was a bit of a destructive lad as a kid. <laughs> you know, so, you know, I feel that you could really do a good amount with Spike, but it wasn't the first one that came to mind thinking, hmm, I need a deluxe version. But when someone mentioned train games, it's like, oh yeah, they're not generally known for looking good. I mean, and a lot of train games I don't like, so I'm not desperate to deluxify a lot of them. I mean, you know, Age of XX and Age of Steam and all that, and all those crayon rail games, you know, they can go burn in hell somewhere i don't care but you know something like this you know a lightweight train game if you could do to this what you did with ticket to ride then yeah i'd be up for that not a problem so top 10 games that need a deluxe version what else have i got here uh pillars of the earth mm, looks pretty good as it is i don't think it needs much more of a deluxe uh marvel legendary again i was thinking that that's card game only you're just talking a bigger box uh founding fathers i thought of this one here but then i thought You've only already got the board and a bunch of cards. Not much else. It's kind of just asking for a reprint, really. Seasons, and then I quickly discounted it because it already looks pretty good. The only thing I would want to deluxify out of it is that horrible point score track with the cubes on it. You know, I want proper, well, I already have actually, you know, a plastic um, jewel crystals, that, that sort of thing. And I use them instead of the, uh, like the crystal scoring thing. But... That's probably the only thing I would deluxify in Seasons, because let's face it, you change those dice, I'll have your head, because those dice are amazing. Uh, Innovation, already got a deluxe version, but it's still just the same artwork and that, so there's only so much you can do with it. And a lot of these others were just basically card games. I mean, Dominion, uh, Nations, Ethnos, um, Carcassonne. I thought maybe you could deluxify that, but again, it... Decent quality game as it is, you know, you can only make the tiles so thick, you would just basically make the artwork a lot more photorealistic. And that's kind of all I can think of, really. Everything else looks pretty good in that game. Uh, Lords of Waterdeep. Lords of Waterdeep could be deluxified. I mean, why do you need cubes for all the various stuff? You know, you could. they, they did release some wooden little uh, meeple things for it, but, I mean, you could really trick it out and do some more, you know, blinged out stuff with that, have a box that holds the expansion as well with a proper insert, but... It's not a bad looking game to begin with. It's just those cubes that are the problem. You know, why did it have to be cubes? But other than that, I it was a hard list to put together. And like I say, this is more pipe dream list. I'm sure you guys have got some great ideas for a you know deluxe version. So I want to hear what you guys have got to say. You know, do you uh, do you do you agree with the ones on this list? Do you think they're already good enough as it is? Can you think of some games that aren't just card games? You know, don't just say a card game needs deluxify. No, no, I want to think something with physical components that you could deluxify tell me about those i want to see what the what you think in the comments also i want you to comment on the whole wide angle thing i mean i'm quite close you know hands are like you know, straight to the camera and lighting is hit and miss i mean that light's already uh, starting to go out and it was recently charged i mean these things eat the batteries so badly but, you know, hopefully, you know, it doesn't matter if that sort of stuff's dark because that's wide angle, you know. So the case of, is this bit in the light? You know, is the sound quality good? The audio is literally there. It's doing what the shotgun mic should be doing because it used to be down there to the side and people commented that it could be a bit better. Well, now it's pointing directly at my mouth. So hopefully it's a lot better. But like I say, I want to hear your thoughts. I'll do two or three videos on wide angle lens and just give it a bit of a test drive. And I'd like to hear your thoughts. So without further ado, I'm going to sign off this video and get on with another one. So take care. And remember, it doesn't matter whether it's a pipe dream or it's going to cost the ends of the earth. You know, at the end of the day, it's still only a game. So maybe you might need to save your money. Take care and I'll see you on the next Broken Meeple Top 10.